Okay, so fire signs. Like I said in the beginning, you are kind of being stubborn with letting something off your shoulders here. And I feel it has to do with a certain loss that you re that you recently um, had to go through or walking away, moving on from a situation. And I feel you may have lost your hope and your faith here with your spirit guides with doing this. Or I'm And I hate to say this because I don't normally do, but I feel somebody, uh, one of the fire signs, may have lost um somebody may have passed on recently for you guys because i'm kind of getting that that energy like somebody's no longer here with you um and this is why i feel like you you kind of lost your connection with the divine because it's like um i feel you needed a lot of clarity you need a lot of answers from this person and i feel you didn't get them before they have passed on here for some of you um but another uh, a lot of some of you may if this may also relate to a relationship you had to walk away from partnership whatever the hell it was though um it's blocking your throat chakra right now so it's blocking your communication your healing right now fire signs so um, take the time to open up your, your communication for yourself right now um, through this healing process. Like I said, uh, regain your fertility in your energy, which is embracing new beginnings here. And with like, stop letting yourself live in the anxiety and the grief and, you know, move on. You need to move on to gain your courageous journey here that that is meant for you. You know, you're you're meant to see the truth here fire signs and I feel like I said you you've lost faith in the divine here so I feel you're really shooting hard here for a lot of answers that you may never find okay and I hate to say it like that but um you need to really intake yourself into this healing process right now um you know kind of relax your mind and have faith in the divine that they will provide for you again here. Fire signs, we have the hope, which is a star card. So you're regaining your hope here, fire signs, after moving on from this, like emotionally, mentally, physically from this here. And I feel you're going to begin to be to start planting new seeds with people as well as opportunities, um, maybe new job opportunities as well. And we have the Knight of Swords and the Nine of swords in the reverse. So you're definitely taking action, inspired action here to run towards those opportunities that you're planning here. Um, and this is going to be releasing a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights, um, just a lot of overthinking in your head right now. <laughs> On the bottom, we have six of wands. Success here. You're going to be put back into the spotlight. I feel like that's where you belong here. Fire signs is what I'm hearing. Um, like you have, you are going to gain your answers and truth when you relight your fire here. Like the, the, the fire is standing right. This is actually fire energy as well. One. So, um, with you riding into success in the spotlight here, fire signs, it's because you have taken this healing opportunity to connect yourself back with the divine here and let your dreams truly come true. But I feel right now you're not going nowhere. Okay, so really take the time here to make that movement, release this mental imprisonment that you're facing in your life right now, and start with, I'm here to start with something small, like a small opportunity to kind of get you off your feet here, fire signs, okay? And look, the sun, happiness, like uh, take a small opportunity from someone to kind of, like I said, get you off the ground here to moving, and I feel you're going to like embrace this opportunity with the, with extreme enlightenment. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I hope that resonated for you, fire signs. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, what, uh, bleh. what element should we do next, guys? We have earth, uh, water or earth signs. Water, or earth signs. Okay, so let me know. Let me clean this up. Water or earth signs next. I seen earth first. <laughs> earth it is. I see you. 
Earth. Earth it is, and then we'll do water. And then we'll do paid readings, guys. Um, so if you'd like a paid reading, it's $22, Cash App or Venmo, or PayPal. If you are PayPaling me, guys, please send it for friends and family. Um, if you would like a mini reading, it's eleven eleven. Um, if you want to gift me the money gun for a small reading as well, I will provide that. And Top Gifter will win a free reading tomorrow. All right, so Earth Signs. Earth Signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Earth Signs. Um, your birthday. So what's your birthday? Now your zodiac is determined by your birthday. One seven. Jen, your birthday is January 7th. You're a Capricorn. October 7th. Libra. Libra. So you would be an air sign. Um, Jen, you would be an earth sign. All right. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do you need to hear right now? This fertility card has come up in every element that we've done. Fertility, guys. A lot of you may be embracing a new life into your journey here. Um, or just a lot of new things, a lot of new opportunities, uh, a lot of new cycles are starting right now. You're welcome. Oh, your, your birthday is the same. That's funny. We have passion as well. So I feel these new beginnings are this rebirth that you're starting here. Earth signs, it's going to be fulfilled with a lot of passion for you. We have willpower on the bottom here. So you're gaining a lot of, um, you're a lot of powerful abilities that you have here, earth signs. Um, this could also have to do with, just you balancing out your energies as well here are signs because I'm, I'm really focusing on her balancing these two worlds like earth signs you may have been feeling recently like you had to juggle of some sort of something and I feel you're embracing this new fertility in your life to step into something new here to fulfill a, a true passion of yours and like you're you're gaining a lot of willpower with doing that Blessings as well. A lot of blessings are coming towards you with this this uh, fertile cycle that you've created here. Well-being. So this is very good for your well-being is what I'm hearing. Like this needed to happen. Manifestations. You could have very well manifested this. Something you're manifesting here on boundaries. <clears throat> So starting this new cycle here, earth signs, you know, like I said, it's going to be putting you into a lot of passion with yourself, um, regaining that willpower, because I feel recently you may have felt like you have been juggling things. What? My sign and her sign, I will pay a lot. What? Um, oh, thank you, Renee, for putting that PayPal. Thank you a lot. I uh, appreciate that. Um Sorry, I got so distracted. Okay, so this new fertility that's coming into your life here, Earth Signs, like I said, it's going to be very good for your well-being. But I feel you have to heavily manifest your boundaries with this, okay? Don't let yourself get all wrapped into um, happiness without realizing that you need to stick to your boundaries with this. We have prosperity on the be on the bottom here. So you may be coming into a lot of prosperity with these blessings of manifestations that you're getting right now, earth signs. Um, but don't forget your fucking boundaries. Don't forget your self-worth, okay? I saw the sun and it opened up my eyes. Oh, Ace of Spades, uh, 
Ace of Base. Is that what that's that band's called? Ace of Base. I saw the sign. Now I gotta listen to it. <laughs> I used to love this song. That's funny. Ace of Base, yes. <laughs> oh man, all right, Earth Sign, let's get into this. Let's see, let's see what else here. Let's, like I said, stick to your um, your boundaries with all this coming. Awareness. <laughs> so this is you like having everything you need around you. Things are coming full circle with this for like fertility that you're getting here. Um, earth signs, your manifestations are at full circle right now. I see all these fucking circles in these cards right now. Like every fucking single one, ha actually, except for this fer fertility one, but I just have to point this out right now. Like, I don't know if you guys have been seeing a lot of circle things, but there's the world here. There's a circle around his head, which is awareness of your of your consciousness here um we have the moon here in this card the manifestation the moon behind it so uh, feminine energy intuition energy and the circle around her crown chakra as well with the awareness and this <laughs> like so many synchronicities right now you're fucking seeing the signs here or signs you're seeing the signs to your conscious awareness But this is, I, like I'm hearing, like it's all good for your well-being. But like I said, keep those boundaries into place with gaining your awareness. <laughs> awesome. Oh my God, look, truth. The fucking truth is coming for you earth signs here. Like I said, you're stepping back into your passion with something that I feel you have been trying to manifest here for a while. Um, and it's all good for your well-being. But I feel it's mainly because that you have embraced this, this fertility in your life right now. The scales are balancing out. We have emotional loss in the reverse here. So you have definitely overcame um, a disappointment of a love relationship here, or even a disappointment with a partner or a friend of some sort. We have authority. Um, so you're definitely taking authority back into your life. You're... You're taking your leadership position is what I'm hearing here or assigns. Um, you're stepping back into that leadership role of fulfilling your passion. And like I said, this is going to be a very uh, a pro a prosperous time for you guys. The fucking empress just came out as well. Like synchronicities as hell, like wild with all the fucking circles i can't even with this this even the truth card is resembling some sort of a circle here um <laughs> so this is definitely um a power couple here a feminine and a divine feminine and a divine masculine here you could be pairing up with somebody after um a heavy emotional loss from somebody else um, you could be stepping into receiving an opportunity at your job here with being next to this, this leadership role. Recognition and reward is fucking coming here, our signs. <laughs> you are being recognized from stepping into your leadership role here. And you're going to be rejoicing a lot in your ha in your celebration and your happiness here. Three, 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 guys. <laughs> if you're seeing three, 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 that means this is going to be a, a very celebrating time for you. A very celebrating cycle is what I'm hearing um, with you, Earth Signs. But definitely embrace a power couple relationship right now, Earth Signs. Um, because I feel you're going to get the recognition and reward from this person that you need. And you're going to have a lot of celebrating times. Um, this could even, like I said, be a partnership in a career right now. Um, 
depending what role you're playing, the divine masculine or the divine feminine, but you're standing next to somebody who is of leadership here, regardless of, of the gender here. And you're, this, this person is recognizing your, um, your hard work and they're giving you a lot of reward and you're being able to relax a lot more here. Okay. More relaxed energies is what I'm getting. Ace of Voices, which is you getting your clarity, you getting your truth here. Truth. Where was the truth card? Balance. The truth is balancing out this reward for you, this, this new opportunity, the Four of Cups in the upright. So you're getting clarity on you kind of missing out on an opportunity or being stubborn or kind of just being rejected by somebody. Seven of Cups. You're refilling your options. <laughs> and we have the judgment in reverse here. So don't get confused by all these options that you're receiving with this leadership role here, Earth signs. Um, because you may, you may be procrastinating to make a final decision about something. Yeah. I'm feeling like, Mm, yeah. Ten of Pentacles. So if you're procrastinating a decision here to be with uh, a person of power, a person of authority, or somebody who, um, a divine feminine who's very nurturing, who's, who's a motherly energy, or a divine masculine here, who is a leadership role, authority, higher up in, in, their, in their power here, then you definitely need to take it. <laughs> because we have the Ten of Pentacles here. This power couple relationship is going to be very wealthy for you. And so many fucking good things are going to come from it here, Earth signs. We have the wheel on the bottom. <laughs> so a lot of good luck, a lot of good fortune is going to be coming towards you. Um, but like I said, I feel this boundaries card is where things need to like draw the fine line here. Keep your boundaries into place while being with this person. Not to kind of have your guard up, but just stick to your self-worth here. Okay? Our signs. All right. So last, we would do water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you, Queen. And mom can. Yeah, so this could apply to your sun, moon, or rising sign, guys. Um, and just like a little quick <clears throat> learning session here. And just, excuse me, <clears throat> just to kind of fill you guys in if you're not keen to astrology here, because I want everyone to be aware. <clears throat> your sun sign, your sun sign, guys, <clears throat> excuse me, is, hold on. So our sun sign is pretty much like the roots of what we are, if that makes sense. Um, now our moon sign is more of our emotions and how we act. And our rising sign is more of our attributes, if that, that kind of sums it up. Sorry if that was a little confusing, but um, yeah, <laughs> I wanted to kind of uh, give you a little... Rundown of that. 
<clears throat> oh, it's like, where'd my music go? Thank you, guys. Top gifter, we'll get a free reading tomorrow. Um, Renee, when I start paid readings, let me know whenever, whatever you want, because you get a free reading for being my top gifter the other night. Um, I don't know. I didn't look. Let me look real quick. Those charts look crazy. Oh, then the birth charts. I'm actually learning how to read those. So if you guys want your birth chart, let me know. Um, I will provide you with the price. Um, and I also just got this really cool book. book, book. It's called The Astrology Fix. Amazing book if you're wanting to learn astrology. Um, but in here, it kind of tells, yeah, this says a little bit more. So your sun sign, who you are, your sense of self, and what drives you and revealed by your sun sign. Your moon is how other people see you or your image you present to the world. Or, I'm sorry, that's your rising sign. Rising sign is how people see you. Like I said, your attributes, your facial features. Your moon sign is your emotions. Like I said, your emotional self. Um, your inner world are defined by your moon sign. Um, and I also have this other book on astrology ones that it's like down to the wire where it tells you with certain foods that air sign or, um, you know, certain like Scorpios or Aquarius or any of the signs like like or um, things they like to do, um, even like attributes in little kids as Zodiac, you know, in, in, in children as Zodiac signs and certain signs. Um, it's kind of interesting. But, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in astrology, I definitely suggest those books. Um, but I don't think I have anyone who paid yet for a reading, guys. Um, if you did, please let me know so I can put you down. But I don't think I have any. We'll, uh, we'll continue with the water signs. We'll see what you guys need to know. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Water signs, you're trying really hard to protect yourself right now. Your spirit guides are protecting you. Yes, you're protecting your family as well here water signs. Um, I'm kind of seeing that you've been dealing with a lot of unpeaceful thoughts or, un or like drama around you right now, water signs. Um, this could affect you moving forward. Are you um, putting movement in your energy, like doing things or even some sort of travel that you're not wanting to make because you feel like you have to protect yourself here? Um, it's for the moment, Joy, but if you want future, I can look, I mean, can't promise anything, but, you know, I could see what, thank you, Cassandra, I could see what it says, you know, um, but water signs, like, sorry, you're trying to protect yourself heavily here, okay? Hold on, guys. And with saying that. Your spirit guides are backing you up on this and they're and they're protecting your family as well from all this drama. And like you, I don't know why I'm getting the sense like you, you feel like you're scared to travel or make a move of some sort here. Um, like you're not feeling courageous about making a move of some sort with your family. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. We have manifestation on the bottom. So... Really start manifesting here, water signs, okay? Um, manifesting your motivation here to move forward and to move your energy around and to embrace 
some travel in your life because you could be like stuck in in um stuck in one place is what I wanted to say and you and I feel it's because you feel you have to protect yourself heavily um I don't know if there's some people around you right now uh water signs that you feel that you are in fear of and they put a lot of uncertainty in your mind if that's the case here like I said your spirit guides have your back here okay and they have your protection of your family as well so you know I need I feel like I need to give you that that peace of mind here water signs <laughs> Renee you're funny All right, let's see what else for you, water signs. You're so welcome, guys. Thank you all for being here. Tap the screen, share the live for me. Go follow my YouTube, please. Aquarius Ash. Yes. Water signs. Fucking just feeling it lately. Yeah, there's been uh, there's been tower moments. There's been unexpected change. You do feel like you're fucking trapped in fear here, guys. Look. Like I said, something is very fearful in your energy. That's immediately what I picked up. Like, I can't lie when I say the protection card in this, this deck was the only one that was upright. Like, you don't feel like you are protected right now. You're, it's like your, your peace is at risk is what I'm hearing. Like, I feel you need to come to awareness here that you do have protection around you. You just, you know, you need to embrace that. You need to um, just have hope in it because they're definitely protecting your family with this. Thank you, Joy. Of course, Renee. I got you, Renee. Um, but water signs, you're feeling a lot of uh, mental imprisonment right now. And it's all in your head. Like I said, somebody may be creating a lot of drama around you or just a lot of fucking disruption that's dis disrupting your peace right now. And this may have even resulted in a tower moment for you, an unexpected change um, to rebuild yourself, to rebuild your wisdom here. Because we have the <coughs> Ace of Swords in reverse, excuse me, with the Hierophant in the upright. Um, which is kind of saying like you're going through a spiritual lesson right now to gain your truth back to yourself, to regain um, your clarity, to feel like to get yourself out of this trapped in fear mode, to get yourself out of this mental imprisonment to where you fear, where you feel like you're in fear a lot. Because that's it. Excuse me. That's definitely the vibe that I'm getting here. Water signs. Um, a lot of you have a lot of pent up fear and doubt in your energy right now. Um, and I feel you just need to work through a lot of wisdom and lessons. Um, learn. I'm hearing learn a lot right now for yourself. Learn to get yourself out of your fucking head here. Obstacles and challenges in the reverse. So <sighs> I just heard the the dog days are fucking over here, water signs. Like you're getting through these obstacles and challenges um, very effortlessly. And, and like I said, it's because you have a lot of protection around you. Look at this, the angel, balance, temperance here. They're putting the balance back into your life. So, you know, stay in your hope, stay in your faith with your spirit guides, because like I said, they're heavily protecting your family and you to receive this balance and these blessings. We have authority here. Um, so, you know, taking charge, taking your control back, power, taking literally your fucking power back, your strength, 
um, your strength, like I just said, <laughs> your spiritual strength, most importantly here, water signs, you are reprogramming your fucking mind. And I love that. And I just said mind and on the bottom we have mental conflict here. So you're reprogramming your mental conflict that you're having right now. Uh, water signs, you're not letting the the fear and the anger and the frustration and the pain, whatever the fuck you're feeling right now, you're not letting it get to you. You're overcoming it. You're going, you're busting through these fucking obstacles in your life right now. And I feel you need to kind of like, this family card is really sticking out to me. So I feel you all... Oh, I'm hearing like you have to be the hero from your family, if some of you. Um, you're the one who kind of has to step up and to gain a leadership role to protect your family. But like I said, you're already protected, so have no fear with that here, Water Signs. Your spirit guides are, are, are around you protecting you. All right, yeah, so Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Like I said, you're... You're feeling a, a fucking in your in your head right now. Like you feel heavily left out from a situation, heavily depressed. Like you can't find the key to happiness anymore. And it's because, like I said, you feel like you're not protected right now. Um, and, you know, with you not feeling protected, your worth, I feel, has gone down a lot within yourself. So I'm hearing like get yourself out of the cold here and release a lot of these unwanted fucking thoughts of pain, unwanted grief. Um, kill the fucking ego that is surrounding your energy right now. Fucking ego death that shit. Put it to fucking end. Like end your fucking ego right now. Air si or water signs. I almost said air signs. So we have the three of pentacles and the upright. So start collaborating with people. Start working together with people. Um, <laughs> the Knight of Cups. So water signs, you could have a divine masculine who wants to come in and really offer you um, a romantic partnership here. We have the Queen of Swords. So you could be the divine feminine here who has her guard up to protect herself and her whatever she needs to be protective of. Because um, I'm kind of getting family. Oh my, and here's the Emperor again. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so hold on. Yeah, release. Okay, there's the tower again. So you may even have to cooperate with somebody right now to kind of show them a gesture of love and not be so guarded with your energy, like take control of this energy. Um, but it's to take control to release your anxiety here, water signs, about this situation. Um, and I feel that's going to be taking like an unexpected route for you when you do this. Um, this could be a person in the past that you don't want to connect with here, um, because you're juggling, you have, you have juggled things a lot with this person. They could have been heavily manipulative, but, and also with this, I'm getting like, you're not standing to your full potential here, water signs. Um, and they could have also been breadcrumbing you along, but you need to release this pain and you need to stop living in it. Okay. Walk the fuck away. <laughs> Walk away. Walk away and gain your wisdom here, your rebirth in your life. You're getting another chance here to rebirth your energy. Reprogram those thoughts here, water signs. Okay. <laughs> Damn, water signs. I'm getting the feels like that might have hit home for a lot of you. So thank you so much, guys, for being here for those. Um, you're more than welcome to hang out, but we're going to start paid readings. Um, like I said.